डॉक्टर मंजिरी वरसावकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट यू बेबी सेंटर नवीपेट पुणे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज सीमेंट डीएनए फ्रेगमेंटेशन इंडेक्स नाउ वी नो दैट व्हेन एवर अ कपल कैन नॉट कंसीव वी इवैल्यूएट बोथ मेल एज वेल एज फीमेल पार्टनर्स इन डेफ्थ and when as far as the male partner evaluation is concerned the semen analysis still forms the main stake of diagnosis and if there is a problem with your semen analysis as far as the count motility or morphology is concerned your ivf consultant will advise you certain advanced test on the semen such as semen function test and one of the most important semen function test is a dfi or a dna fragmentation index now how is this dfi testing done with a gap of 3 days abstinence the husband is told to come to this ivf center and in a dedicated semen collection room the semen collection is done by the husband and once the sample is obtained it is subjected to certain advanced testing like the sperm chromatin dispersion assays and after which we get the dna fragmentation index report if your dna fragmentation index of your sperms is less than 15% then your dfi is normal that means your sperms are healthy and functional so such patients can undergo basic treatment strategies such as iui or even timed intercourse as advised by your ivf consultant If your DNA fragmentation index is between 15 to 25 percent, then you come in the borderline category, which means that there is a chance of IUI failure. And if you have already failed IUI three times, it is time to upgrade the technology and step up to do an IVF or an ICSI procedure. However, if you are having a poor DNA fragmentation index, by which it means if your DFI is more than thirty-five percent, that is abnormal DFI, these are the patients who fail their IUIs very frequently and need something which is known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI or even an advancement in icsi which is known as pixi or sometimes in very severely fragmented sperms sometimes an elective testicular sperm aspiration might give a better sample for fertilization of the eggs so all in all how badly fragmented is the dna in the sperms is assessed by your dna fragmentation index and it just tells you how much breathing time you have for a pregnancy if it is really abnormal then we do not have much time and the pregnancy needs to hurry up and the patient needs to go in for advanced therapies if your dfi is less than 15% you can still continue treatment in the basic zones like iui with certain good antioxidants and motility enhancer medicines which are given to the male partner to increase the success rates in these iui cycles so this is all about dna fragmentation sperm index thank you